ஹாப்பி மார்னிங் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு கிரேட் சிக்ஸ் இங்கிலீஷ் கிளாஸ் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் அவர் காம்போசிஷன் வாட் டு யூ மீன் பை காம்போசிஷன் லெசன் சில்ட்ரன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் யூ ஹாஸ் ஹாவ் டு நோ வாட் டு யூ மீன் பை காம்போசிஷன் இங்கிலீஷ் லாங்குவேஜ் லேர்னர்ஸ் டெஃபனேஷன் ஆஃப் காம்போசிஷன் Let's learn the definition of composition. The way in which something is put together or arranged. The combination of parts or elements that make up something. A piece of writing especially. A brief as a written as a school assignment. Listen, the composition means uh, the way in which something is put together. The words are arranged. Some words. messages are put together or arranged in an order or you can say as the combination of parts or the elements that make up something some message we are giving some we are pointing out something else composition means we are pointing out something else and then it's a important word that is a piece of writing writing composition means we are giving more importance for writing writing composition means it is a writing part okay composition it is a writing part a brief essay written as a school assignment is the meaning is we can write as a the way of writing it gives the important composition gives the important of writing skills it develops our writing skill the first we are going to write letter writing that is one from formal and another one from informal letter first listen children what is the letter writing you have to know what do you mean by letter writing a letter is a written message that can be hand written or printed on paper that is a message which we are going to convey to others that should be written in a that written in as a hand written or it may be in a printed way it is usually sent to the recipient via mail or post in an envelope although it is not a, a requirement as such any such message that is transferred via post is a letter a written conversation that is a letter a letter letter writing the name itself you can easily understand that letter a writing a writing is there is a part of develop your skill and then letter a letter is a written message letter writing as a written message which we have to convey to others either in a hand written way or in a printed paper that is a letter there are two types of letters is there one is the formal letter and another one is the informal letter what is a formal letter a letter written for a formal purpose is called a formal letter it addresses a serious issue now let us discuss the types of formal letter listen children formal letter means a letter written for a formal purpose an official work that is known as formal letter official purpose that is not the personal only for an official purpose to higher authorities a letter which we are going to write to a write for a higher authority that is known as formal letter now let us discuss the types of formal letter let's see the types of formal letter there is a formal letter means a letter you are writing to a editor or writing to a principal or class teacher or some other higher authorities for official persons that is known as formal letters these are the types of formal letters that is letter to the editor letter to the government letter to the police letter to the principal order letter complaint letter enquiry letter these are the types of letter writing which belong to the formal type next is the informal letter writing informal letter writing a letter written for an informal purpose is called an informal per- letter it is written for a casual purpose listen informal letter means it is a personal letter you can say as a personal letter whereas the formal letter is an official letter informal letter is a casual letter which we, we can write to your friends relatives parents and then your brothers and sisters that is known as informal letter 
a letter written for an informal purpose look at the word informal purpose casual purpose okay that is known as informal letter now let us discuss the types of informal letters what are the types of informal letters now look at this types of informal letter letter to parents letter to siblings letter to friends letter to classmates and letter to neighbors these type of letters you can name as informal letter casual letter you can say as a casual letter personal letter we can write the letter to our parents siblings friends classmates and neighbors that type of letter is known as informal letter so children now take your composition notebook now let's write two composition one is the formal letter and second one is the informal letter write the question in the black color and answer in the blue color in the left hand side you should write the question write exercise number date and then title and then question everything you should you should write only with black color and in the right side mention the exercise number date and title and write your answer in blue color and draw the line if you have no space in the first line that is the first page better you can turn the next page but the answer should be written only in the right side of your notebook after completing the first letter we can take a fresh page and then you can write the second letter that is informal letter the same way how you should write the date exercise number title and write the question in black color that is in left side and in the right side mention the exercise number date title and write the answer in the blue color draw the line children now let's start to write our first composition that is formal letter take your composition notebook leave the index page we shall fill the index by the last so leave the index page then take the next page first page the left side you have to use only to write the question using black color whereas in the right side you can write the answer for the question using blue color now take left side of your notebook children so don't get confused listen carefully in the left side you have to write only the question answers you should write in the right side using blue color if you complete the right side there is a page there is no space to complete your answer in the in one page by the next page you can turn and write but you should write only the answer in the right side of your notebook you should not use the left side left side is spent only for writing the question so listen carefully children the left side first you have to write the exercise number this is the first composition so you have to write the exercise number as 1 look at this here you have to use only the black color to write the question so exercise number then below you have to write today's date what is today's date that is 21 6 2021 so write the date children so you should not write in the red color line by the next line the first line you should start to write the exercise number so this you are writing only in the left side of your notebook so exercise number 1 then date 21 6 2021 in the center you have to write the title what is the first letter we are going to write now that is formal letter so look at the title f o r m a l formal letter l e t t e r formal letter after writing this take your scale pencil and draw the line above the title and also below the title look at this image likewise you have to draw the line so listen carefully children first you have to write your exercise number and then date and next you have to write the title in the center formal letter using caps letter you can write the title formal letter and then dot draw the line above and below so this is the first step and then second look at the question don't write listen carefully children write a letter to the editor times of india about the disturbance caused in the working of the school due to loudspeakers and vehicles 
so listen carefully children look at the question first to whom you have to write the letter that is you have to write a letter to the editor to the editor times of india to the editor listen carefully to first thing you have to learn that is of to whom you have to write the letter to the editor times of india and what is the content you have what is the letter you have to write about about the disturbance caused in the working of the school due to loud speakers and vehicles that is due to the disturbance of the loud speakers and vehicles you have to avoid that is you are going to write the letter to the editor times of india about the disturbance of loud speakers and vehicles in the working place of the school due to this that is about the loud speakers and vehicles you are going to write the letter so again listen children write a letter to the editor editor e must be capital comma the first letter write w r must be capital write a letter to the editor times of india times t must be capital and india i must be capital times of india about the disturbance caused in the working of the school due to loud speakers and vehicles so look at the spelling carefully and you have to write like this so this is the procedure to write the question in the left side of your notebook again listen carefully children you have to write the question only in the left side of your notebook you should not write answer in the uh, that is the left side of your notebook this space is only meant for writing the question so this point you have to keep in mind so first you have to write the exercise number 1 and then today's date that is 21 6 2021 in the center you have to write the title as formal letter so then you have to draw the line above and then below now look at the question write a letter to the editor times of india about the disturbance caused in the working of the school due to loud speakers and vehicles so here you have to use only black color to fill the question in the left side of your notebook now take your right side of your notebook children in the right side you have to mention your exercise number and then date the title also which you have written in the left side of your notebook the same thing you have to take and write in the right side of your notebook also so first mention the exercise number as 1 and then date 21 6 2021 in the center you have to write the title as formal letter so take down and write the title as formal letter in the right side using blue color the next you have to write the address and then date that is a, uh, the person who is writing the letter that person's address you have to write here for example it is mentioned here as 121 comma kingsway camp comma new delhi and then pin code today's date that is june 21 2021 the date is mentioned here so children like was you have to take first write the that is a from address that is a your address from address you have to write it then leave one line by the next to whom you are going to write this letter that is a, who is receive who will receive this letter the editor that is you are writing this letter to the editor of the newspaper so the editor t must be capital the editor comma the times of india new delhi and then pin code so this is the procedure to write the from address and to address so this is the formal letter children formal letter means first you have to write the title is must be there and then sender's address the next receiver's address the next third step is the subject and then you have to write the body of the letter salutation everything you have to write in the order wise so listen children so 
first step what is the first step you have learned exercise number and then date you have to write and then title this this everything the answer should be written only using blue color and the answer must be in the right side of your notebook so first you should write the that is a sender's address the person who is writing this letter so that person address that is your address you have to mention here with date then leave one line the next two address you have to write it that is the receiver's address to whom you are writing the letter is written to whom that person's address you have to write it so the uh, that is the two address belongs to the editor times of india new delhi so first you have to write the from address that is your address and then the receiver's address the next leave one line after completing the sender's address and the receiver's address leave one line the next is subject subject leave one line and write as subject subject is very important subject means what is the content what is the theme of the letter okay in the if you read the subject itself easily you can identify what is the letter is about what is the content everything we can understand through this subject so subject is very important children in the letter wherever you are writing the letter you have to mention the subject okay subject is very important that is the theme of the letter then leave one line and write this as a subject yes must be capital letter write it please little children subject yes u b j e c t subject and then keep the ditto then write as the what is the subject disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles that is a disturbance what is the theme of the letter disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles disturbance d e must be capital letter disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles that is the subject i will understand children up to this first we have written the question in the left side with the black color and then in the right side we are starting we have started to write the answer in the right side that is the exercise number date title that sender's address the next receiver's address the next leave one line and you should write as the subject what is the subject that is the theme of the letter disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles have you completed up to this children the next leave one line then next start as a sir or ma'am okay we don't know whether the person is a male or female so we have mentioned here as sir or madam so write like this sir yes say a uh, sir put one slash then write as madam m a d a m madam put comma okay sir slash madam after writing the subject leave one line and mention this sir slash madam then shall we go for the what is this content what is the theme what is the theme of your letter children disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles now we are pointing out the what is it what is the disturbance caused we are mentioning here so listen children carefully how you should write it sir ma'am come on then don't start on the same line you should write from the next line give some little space that is when you start a paragraph you have to leave a little space and then only you should start the paragraph so give some space then start to write it first i will read once children listen carefully through the esteemed columns of your newspaper i wish to draw the kind attention of the concerned authorities towards the disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles loud speakers and vehicles are a great nuisance neither the teachers can teach properly nor the students can concentrate on studies listen through the esteemed columns of your newspaper i wish to draw the attention of the concerned authorities towards the disturbance caused by loudspeakers and vehicles that is 
here we have point out the disturbance through the esteemed columns of your newspaper with the help of your newspaper i wish to draw on behalf of your newspaper i am pointing out the what is that what is the problem in that area i am pointing out here on behalf of your newspaper with the help of your newspaper to publish on your newspaper i am pointing out this with the help of the newspaper we can spread the news everywhere so for that purpose here we have mentioned as the times of india newspaper so listen children through the esteemed columns of your newspaper i wish to draw the kind attention of the concerned authorities towards the disturbance caused by loud speakers and vehicles loud speakers and vehicles are a great nuisance neither for the teachers can teach properly nor the students can concentrate on their studies after completing this paragraph then you have to write from the next paragraph you have to write as a next paragraph so leave that line children after completing this up to this first paragraph keep full stop and then you can start as a the next paragraph listen carefully the next paragraph when you begin the next paragraph also you should give some small space and then only you should start you will agree that peaceful atmosphere is in dispensable indispensable to study my humble suggestion is that silence zone should be closed for vehicle traffic the use of loud speakers should be banned i hope the authorities will take the necessary steps to redress our grievance listen children the next paragraph in the first paragraph we have point out what is the problem is going on there and then look at the next paragraph you will that is the first paragraph we have point out the what is the problem is there through the newspaper we have admitted everything okay that is the loud speaker noise and vehicles that is the disturbance of loud speaker and vehicles we have point out through the newspaper the times of india in the second paragraph listen carefully you will agree that peaceful atmosphere is indispensable to study okay then my humble suggestion is that silent zone should be closed for vehicle traffic okay there must be silence must be there there should not be any noise through the vehicle the use of loud speaker should be banned okay the loud speaker should be banned that should be stopped it is disturbance the the loud speaker disturb disturb the students as well as the teachers to teach their lesson so the use of loud speaker should be banned banned means that is to stop here yeah, the loud speaker sound should be stopped i hope the authorities will take the necessary steps to redress our grievances listen here that is the person is believing that the authorities authorities even the higher officials the officials will take the necessary step to redress what is the meaning of redress here to correct the mistakes what is the problem is going on what is the issue is moving on is going on the authorities will take the steps to eradicate that to stop that nuisances that is the to stop that noises created by the loud speaker and vehicles this is the letter writing children and then after completing this letter then the next slide you have to write us thanking you for this formal letter you should mention us thanking you put comma the next line write this in the right side of your notebook thanking you comma yours faithfully for the higher authorities you should mention only yours faithfully you should not mention as yours lovingly like that here for the formal letter you can write as yours faithfully or yours obediently yours sincerely yours truly according to the concept according to the 
uh, person you can mention this he was faithfully comma and then here i have mentioned as sahil singh it is a name of a boy instead of that you can mention your name also so mention your name because the first letter is capital don't put a signature write only your name thanking you comma you was faithfully comma instead of that sagil singh you can mention your name and then keep full stop okay this is the formal letter after completing this leave one line and draw the line if you don't have space in this page itself you can't complete in this only one page itself the you can turn and write in the next page but the answers you should not continue in the left side the answers you should write only in the right side of your notebook okay if you can complete in a one page you can complete your answer children otherwise you can turn the page then don't write in the question side turn the page you should write your answer that is you should continue your answer only in the right side of your notebook this is the formal letter the first exercise we have completed children so you should write the question in the left side and answer in the right side of your notebook draw the line write it neatly children now turn the next page that is a fresh page you should not continue by the same page in the first exercise or you should take the fresh page take the left side of your notebook mention the title the first you have to write as the exercise number 2 and then today's date the date of the first exercise you have written as 21 that is the today's date by the next exercise you can write by the next date tuesday you can write the next exercise mention the date that is the next day's date 22 6 2021 the center you have to write the title as informal letter this is exercise number 2 informal letter now look at the question children the progress report of your younger brother shows that he is not doing well in studies I write a letter to him giving him some suggestions to improve his performance you are harnam look at here that is your name is mentioned here that is your name is harnam and then your younger brother progress report shows that he is not doing well in studies that is he is not good in his studies so you have to write a letter to him that is that you have to write letter to your younger brother to give him some suggestions to improve his performance to get good marks in his studies you have to give him some suggestions so this is the concept of the letter so the letter that is a yeah when we write a letter to your parents or cousins or brothers or sisters or friends then that letter is considered as an informal letter so there is no certain format to write this informal letter we can write it listen children so first you have to take down the exercise number and then date title informal letter draw the line above and then below and then you have to take down the question question you have to write only in the left side of your notebook using black color children now take your right side of your notebook let's start to write the answer for this informal letter first write the exercise number 2 and then date 22 6 we can write that is the next day's date you can write it by the next day you can write this letter in your notebook mention the title as informal letter so exercise number date title everything you should write only blue color and it must be in the right side of your notebook that is the right side consist of answers whereas left side is only for question so on the right side you have to write like this and then that is the sender's address first we are writing here what is your address where was the address is mentioned in the question the same address you have to take and write in the right side of your notebook so 60 botain comma urban estate faridabad and then date that is a today's date june 22 2021 here there is no certain procedure to write the from address or to address that is a sender's address and then receiver's address just you can mention your place and then date itself is it enough so this is the procedure children after writing this leave one line next 
you can write that is a my dear friend or my dear father my dear brother so according to the concept according to the letters concept to whom you are writing the letter that person's name or the salutations you can mention here so dear sanju so the name is mentioned here as sanju so dear sanju comma now look at the first paragraph children dear sanju there is a body of the letter i just received your progress report for the pre vacation test it is very disappointing i am sad to learn that you failed badly in english and max your class teacher has complained that you are often late for school and do not complete your homework regularly so here listen carefully children the concept is you are writing a letter to your brother who is not good in his studies so you are giving some suggestion to your younger brother to make him good in his studies so this is the theme of the letter so this is informal letter so you are writing a letter to your brother first you have mentioned your brother's name that is your brother name dear sanju come on i just received your progress report for the pre vacation test that is you have received your brother's progress report that is your brother's mark report just now that is i just received your progress report for the pre vacation test it is very disappointing on seeing the marks scored by your younger brother who was very disappointed so that you have conveyed here i just received your progress report for the pre vacation test it is very disappointing that is on seeing the progress report he was very much disappointed i am sad to learn that you failed badly in english and max that is your brother has failed in english and max on hearing this you became very sad that you have conveyed here i am sad to learn that you fail badly in english and max your class teacher has complained that you were often late for school and the boy was often late to school that his class teacher was complained to you so that also you are mentioned that is also you mentioned here your class teacher has complained that you are often late for school and do not complete your homework regularly that your brother is not completing his homework regularly or on time so you are there is a you are as a elder you can give some suggestion to your brother to make him good in studies so this is the first paragraph so the first paragraph consists of the about the mark report of your brother and what is his uh, that is a work in his studies that is he has bad gets badly marks he has got very low marks in english and max and his class teacher has also complained that the boy often comes to school late and he was irregular in his homework after completing the first paragraph leave small space and then you can start the next paragraph it is never too late to mend turn over a leaf and avoid bad company put your heart and soul in studies you should read every subject daily frame a time table and strictly address to it see look at this the second paragraph first paragraph the elder one has point out the mistake that is a disappointment in her his homeworks and then he failed badly in english and max and what the elder one has point out in the paragraph that it is never too late to mourn turn over a leaf and avoid bad company that the elder one has point out the younger one to avoid bad company bad company here represents as the friends to leave the bad friends put your heart and soul in studies that you should study sincerely you should put your heart and soul in studies you have to be concentrate only on your studies you should read every subject daily you should read every subject daily 
frame a timetable and strictly address to it that you have to frame a timetable you have to frame a timetable and strictly address to it here the word address points out that to follow frame a timetable and strictly address means to take down that is you have to follow frame a timetable and strictly follow to it the next paragraph that is the next point leave one that is leave some space and then you can start this the the next line i hope you will take my suggestions seriously i hope that is i believe that you will take my suggestions seriously after that you can mention us you was leave one line children and then you can write us you was affectionately okay or you can mention us you was lovingly it is a what is that personal letter informal letter for the informal letter you can write us you was lovingly or you was affectionately like us you can mention then you can write us you was affectionately put comma and then harnam why we have mentioned the name as harnam here because in the question we have mentioned the same name as harnam and then you can change of this harnam h a r n a m harnam you can point out your name also both the question and the answer should be written in the same name so in the question and answer you can write your name instead of the name harnam you can write your name two places you have to write one in the question place and another one in the answer side in the question also you have to write the same name and the same name should be pointed out in the answer side also you was affectionately come up the name keep full stop after completing this take your scale pencil draw the line the question should be in the black color and the answer should be written only in blue color after completing the answer take your scale pencil draw the line write it neatly listen carefully children you have to write the question in black color and it must be in the left side and the answers you should write in the right side of your notebook should use only the blue color after completing is draw the line if you can't complete in a single page your answer you can turn the next page of your notebook but you should write only the answers in the right side of your notebook you should not go to the left side left side is used only for question purpose answers you should point out only on the right side of your notebook children now take the index page of your notebook that is the first page we shall fill our index so still now we have learned two composition one is the formal letter writing and another one is the informal letter writing so first take your index page children in the index page you should mention the exercise number as 1 and then the date that is today's day 21 6 and then formal letter and then next number 2 second exercise is that is informal letter you can write by the next day mention the next day's date that is 22 6 should write the title as informal letter so children likewise you have to fill the index page so i have given just a format how to write the index page in your notebook it says the column is mentioned separately for date and then exercise number title so according to that you have to fill children so exercise number 1 date is 21 6 2021 formal letter and then second exercise is by the next day you can write in your notebook the mention that same day that is 22 6 2021 informal letter so children today we have learned how to write a formal letter and then informal letter that is we have completed two exercise one is the for the first one is the formal letter writing and second one is the informal letter writing so listen carefully children you have to write the question only in the left side of your notebook using black color whereas the answer you should write in the right side of your notebook using blue color so if you don't have to complete your answer in one page better you can turn the next page but you should not write the answer in the left side of your notebook you should write only in the right side of your notebook that is to continue your exercise that is the first composition you can continue by the next page also but your answer should be only in the right side of your notebook that is after completing your first composition you should not 
join the next composition in the same page better you should take the first page that is a new page and then you have to write the question in the left side and answer in the right side question must be you write uh, the must be written using black color and answer should be only in blue color you should not use black color to write the answer so this is the procedure to write your composition so children you can take two days that is uh, monday and tuesday to complete your composition the first composition you can write in one day and the next you can write in the second day so children write your composition neatly spell it and write write it neatly concentrate on your handwriting after completing your composition take a photocopy and send it to me thank you